Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm going to work on my Moleskin uh, notebook for an art journal. And uh, I decided to use watercolors today. I have my Jane Davenport uh, bright colors and this cute uh, Frog Yoga stamp, st uh, stamp set from Stampendus. Here you can see the bright colors. Uh, I really love this set. It's very vibrant. And uh, today I'm going to use my greens and blues and uh, do a different background that I haven't done before. I've seen some people do these kind of drips. So I'm wondering how it looks uh, and I will use two colors only. I sprayed some water and I'm uh, being careful looking uh, a little bit uh, for the spine not to seep through the other pages. Uh, and I'm using my water brush to pick up some paint and uh, drip it with the water uh, that it has inside. I will do this process uh, for a while. I'm using a bright uh, green and a light blue that is quite bright as well. Meanwhile, I can tell you, you will find a list of supplies down below at the description area, as usual. Here it is how it looks now. I quite like it. It's a different look than my usual very neat and tidy ones. Uh, and I'm going to stamp my uh, frogs now. I really love them. They are so cute. And I'm going to use uh, more than one, probably four. So I'm selecting among the ones. Uh, they have. They are five anyway. Uh, so I'm going to pick up the four. Uh, and also I will make them talk. So later you will see that. Uh, I will have uh, talking bubbles and uh, I will use the sentiments that are on the uh, stamp set as well. I'm using my arch archival uh, black ink to stamp my frogs uh, on a piece of cardstock. <music> going to color my frogs with my watercolor uh, as well. I'm using the same green and uh, I will use uh, yellow uh, to give some uh, lights and darks uh, uh, on the frog, uh, the bellies and uh, the hands and feet uh, I'm making yellow and then I'm blending it with the green. I'm only going to show one uh, because all the frogs I will color the same uh, colors. That will be boring, so you will see only one. Now that they are ready, I'm going to cut them. I used uh, some stitch uh, circle dies uh, that I had at home. Uh, many uh, companies have these uh, same stitch dies you can find. And I used this plaid uh, background uh, scrapbook paper from Long foam. Uh, long foam has uh, a lot of uh, colors of this uh, plaid uh, scrapbook papers, uh, so you can find many colors. But I chose the colors that I used on my background. Um, I w it wasn't in my mind uh, that I was going to use it, but seeing the colors reminded me of this uh, paper. So now they match. Uh, I will place my frogs inside these circles and I will stick these circles uh, on my page so that they have a place uh, that they are doing the yoga. I am covering these circles with matte medium as well. I'm using a dry brush. Uh, remember we have watercolors on the frogs and uh, on the background so they will move with matte medium. So I am uh, being really careful uh, not to smudge. I 
it's time to prepare the speech bubbles. Uh, I cut uh, uh, these uh, bubbles with my die cut. Uh, I'm using a Sizzix machine. And this is from XCut, uh, these speech bubbles. And uh, I really like them, very versatile. Uh, once you have one, you can use it many times in different projects. I'm selecting some uh, mini inks from my collection. I love the mini inks from this dress. I don't have the full sizes. It's more uh, economical to buy the minis and they are the same basically. I'm just checking which color I want to use. I selected two tones of blues and greens. I think I will use Twisted Citron and uh, Salty Ocean. That goes with my uh, background more. I'm just uh, inking around the edges of these bubbles uh, so that uh, they are the same color. I think white uh, doesn't look so good. It stands out a lot so I want to give a little bit color. I'm going to make two of them blue, two of them green. I'm going to stamp my sentiments uh, according to the size of the bubbles I'm selecting the sentiments that I want to stamp and uh, I'm using again my black uh, ink from archival to stamp my sentiment uh, and uh, I will uh, also go around the edges of the bubbles with my ink tool to make them more cohesive and it will look better uh, when it has a frame I think stick them on my page too. Uh, again I'm using matte medium being very careful not to smear and smudge. consistent with uh, the other elements I decided to uh, make a black uh, frame to these uh, circles as well it will also help them stand out against the background So use my uh, Faber Castell green uh, brush pen uh, to give some shadow uh, under the shadows, uh, uh, under the frogs, uh, because uh, they are standing somewhere, so it will look like a floor. I will also make the dots on the frogs uh, darker, uh, the circles with this uh, pan now to create some contrast uh, I'm going to use my ink again and this uh, very nice uh, stencil from Craft crafters workshop to use these uh, squares here and there uh, to give some interest and contrast Again, I'm going to frame my uh, 
page with black ink because now everything is framed. Last thing I will do is uh, do some black splashes with my Ecoline ink and the page will be finished. Uh, I really like the page, it's uh, a little bit different than my usual ones with the background uh, but uh, I like it. It was quite fun and these frogs are absolutely adorable uh, so I hope you had fun as much as I did. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button below or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for all the likes and comments you leave to me. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time.